In UberMenu, there are two types of settings, menu settings and menu item settings. Menu settings affect the entire menu and are configured via the control panel, which is accessed via Appearance, UberMenu. Menu item settings affect individual menu items and are configured in the WordPress Menus panel. To configure a menu item, go to Appearance Menus or UberMenu Edit Menus to configure a specific menu. Hover over any menu item and click the Uber button that appears. This will display the menu item settings panel. Keep in mind that while these settings are available for every menu item you create, they will only affect menu items contained in an Uber menu. Clicking on the Uber button for a different menu item will open that item's settings panel. You can toggle the current settings panel by clicking the X in the upper right corner, or by pressing Escape on your keyboard. Across the top of the Menu Item Settings panel, you'll see the menu item name, so that you can tell at a glance which menu item you're working with, the menu item ID, which if you click will scroll to that menu item within the menu structure, and the menu item type. You'll also see the menu item status icon, which will tell you if there are unsaved changes or when your save completes successfully, and the save menu item button. Each menu item's settings are saved independently via Ajax, as well as the close button. Along the left side, you'll see the different settings category tabs. The menu item settings will be organized into these tabs to make them easier to navigate. For example, layout settings can be accessed in the layout tab and submenu settings can be configured in the submenu tab. To the right is where you actually make your changes to the settings. When you make a change, you'll see an alert appear in the, uh, in the menu item status icon. And if you hover over that icon, you'll see the message that you have unsaved changes and to save them, you click the Save Menu Item button. When you do so, the menu item settings will be saved via Ajax. And when the save is successful, you'll see a green check mark appear. Note that you do not need to resave the entire menu with the Save Menu button in order to save your Uber menu settings. However, you do need to save the entire menu when you add new items or edit the core WordPress menu item settings. For example, if you were to change a setting in the Menu Item Settings panel, and then click Save Menu Item, these changes would be reflected immediately on the front end of your site. However, if you add a new menu item to your menu, you won't see that menu item or its changes, uh, its changed settings, until you click the Save Menu Item button in the in the WordPress Menus panel to save that menu structure again. We'll go into the details of each menu item setting in later video tutorials.